In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to construct a variable control charts, specifically the X bar and R chart using MATLAB. Again, the first thing we're going to start off with is reading our data into MATLAB. So I'm just going to call this VCC for variable control charts and use that read table function. And I'll go ahead and run that function. You can see that the table is brought in as a table. And there's some information that we have to strip away with MATLAB. Sometimes what we have to do is we have to get this into a matrix format in order to perform some of the operations. We have to convert this to a matrix first. So we'll do that next. So to convert this table to a matrix, I'm using these curly brackets right here. And I'm saying, OK, I'm going to use the VCC table. And I want all rows of that table. And then I want to go from the second column to the end of the columns. I could have uh, counted these up and we have this is column two, three, four, five, six. And I could have got, uh, written this as two colon six, but the end is a real simple shortcut just to go to the end of the columns. Uh, that way, if there's multiple columns, you don't have to worry about um, what the actual end value is. When we go ahead and run this, this is going to split spit out a matrix of all of the data. And now we're ready for our next step. And what I'm going to run is the control chart. And I'm saying it's the VCC matrix is the data that I'm pulling into this. And when I run this, it's going to spit out the average chart. That's the default chart that shows up when we uh, run this command. And you can see the average chart right here. It's saying the X bar chart, also known as the average chart. So this is plotting the averages. Um, the red lines right here are the upper and lower control limit respectively. The green line right here is the center line or the average of all of the averages and then any of the blue dots are the individual averages for that respective subgroup and then the circle around the blue dot indicates that we have an out of control point and it's indicating that as a violation in here now one thing that this is missing is it's missing some of the labels remember in matlab with um with labels, it's really easy to add those. So for example, I could add an X label. So I could say X label. And then we have to encase this in quotations and I'll just call this subgroups. And if I run this, that's gonna add the label to the horizontal scale, which you can see right there. I don't know what this data represents, so I'm not gonna put a, a Y label on here. And certainly you could change the title if you wanted. I think those are important things to do. Uh, to do the Y label, it's just Y label, and then you do the same thing as what we did with the X label. And then for the title, it's just title, and same thing that we did with the X label in terms of using that function. So the, the average chart is the default function when we run the control charts function. If you want the range chart, you're going to have to specify which chart you're you're using. So now you can see my code. I'm using the control chart for the VCC matrix. That's the data I'm pulling. The chart type that I want to use, I'm putting that argument in there and telling it I want to use the R chart. When I run this, this is going to generate the range chart. And then we'll have both the average and range chart when we take a look at this, this data in terms of the variable control charts, which you can see right here. And again, the upper control limit of the ranges is this red line right here. The lower control limit typically defaults to zero unless we have a very large subgroup size. And then the individual ranges that we have are listed right here as the blue points. The green line is the center line or the average of the ranges. And then any out of control points or violations will have the red circle around the blue dot. Um, so this is how you create uh, average and range chart using uh, MATLAB.